Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Encik Wan Ahmad Saifuddin bin Wan Ahmad Razi, the Managing Director of Edu City Iskandar Malaysia, to mesmerize us with his keynote presentation up on stage. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, IIB board members, Datuk Khairil, Chairman of Edu City, and uh, CEO, President of uh, IIB. Edu City board and exco members, invited partners, members of the media, and distinguished guests. Welcome to the launch of Edu City 2.0. There is uh, an African saying, um, which is, in, um, look at your past, in order to reclaim your future. So I think Edu City has a lot of history. Edu City has a lot of, uh, you know, we've heard the stories from uh, Datuk Khairil. I know there's been a lot of blood, sweat and tears in actually realizing Edu City and making it happen. Um, and, and I think let us take a quick look at the journey that Edu City went through. So in 2008, this is the, uh, the logo of Edu City. Uh, I was uh, made to know that ini dia macam buku kan? Dia punya is the, the symbol of knowledge. So the book, that was how Edu City started. But let's see the journey that it went through. So firstly, we would like to thank all the partners who made Edu City happen. Um, Dr. Kairil talked about Newcastle as the first institution. We have the Netherlands Maritime Institute of Technology, University of Southampton, Raffles University, Marlborough College, Raffles American School, uh, MDIS, College MDIS, MMU, and University of Reading. We have booths uh, to the side of uh, this room, so we hope you can visit some of the partners. We actually have our existing partner and we have the new partners with us as well. So if we look at the achievements of Edusity 1.0, it's set out to attract reputable institutions to come in one place. And I think it has done that. So the names that you have seen, um, you know, now populate Edusity and makes Edusity a destination. It also has world-class shared facilities, a sports complex, an industry village. Um, and this is a little bit unique when you look at, um, when you look at uh, education hubs around the world, they tend to be mainly sort of a real estate play. They will sell you land, they will incentivize you to open your institution, and then you know, uh, you, you're almost like a science park. But the approach to EduCity, I think the difference, apart from the multivarsity approach that we had, is we provide the shared facilities. We provide the facilities so that our institution partners do not have to build them themselves. So, so this, um, 
uh, they, they can focus their capital, they can focus uh, mainly on the teaching and learning. What we also try to do is create this multivarsity community because you have seven institutions. Uh, you know, the richness of your experience in university only comes from the interaction between the students. So this has been happening over the number of years as institutions and new institutions start opening um, you know, along the way. However, I think as Dr. Karel has said, the world has changed. We are now in this situation, an unprecedented situation where you, know, this, you can't take anything for granted anymore. Travel, which used to be you know, something that's so easy. You know, one of the reasons that I, uh, that I got from some of the lecturers in EDUCT is that they love working at EDUCT. Why? Because of one word, Air Asia. They said, it's so easy to go to any country in Southeast Asia, direct flight, so that during Chuti Chuti, they can actually go. But things like that we take for granted nowadays is no longer true. You know, we, we understand students who could come in from different countries, so it's now becoming very difficult. So this is the challenge that I think EDUCT has to face together with its partners. And, and what are the steps that we're taking to address those challenges? So firstly, there is this phenomenon called the deglobalization of education. People don't want to travel so far anymore to study. You know, they, they, they probably will choose countries which have managed uh, the COVID-19 experience well. And I think we're, we're very happy to say that Malaysia is definitely one of those countries, you know. Yeah? Because our DG of health is recognized as the top three DG in the world to manage COVID-19. So this is a huge boost for EDUCT and a huge boost for the partners. But therein also lies maybe some opportunities that we can further take advantage of. The other thing is, can I have a hand on, uh, how many of you have kids? Can you raise your hands? You, during uh, MCO, I think the kids really annoyed you and you really annoyed the kids, right? Uh, because the kids have to go to online classes and then you also have to have online meetings. You're all fighting for internet bandwidth. You're all fighting, uh, I book this place, and uh, you book this place, etc. I think one lesson from it is, it suddenly showed the world that you can learn online. You can. Because I think a lot of people who are not open to the idea of work from home or learn from home, and now suddenly realize it's a reality. But three, four weeks, six weeks, eight weeks down the line, then suddenly you realize, actually work from home, learn from home, not so easy lah. Kan? Baru kita nak start buat assignment belajar, mak cakap, eh, tolong sedia kain. And then you are just about to do something, you know, your kid, your, your brothers and sisters will come disturb you. So what that indicates is it is not an ideal learning environment. It's not ideal. So we were surprised at EDUCT during the period when MCO was partially lifted, students could actually go home. But they didn't go home. And we wondered why. So we talked to the students and said, um, well, I could go home, but the internet connection here is so much better than my house. I can actually meet my friends to do group work. I can go to, you know, and go for a run. I can uh, go to the library, you know, taking all the precautions in place. So that actually highlighted the importance that you can't do everything online, and it's not advantageous to do everything offline. And this is where we found that at EDUCT, when it became a choice for a lot of students to stay back, that this is an advantage that we have, a, learn, a learning environment that is conducive. So which we may need to rethink of how it works. Next is, uh, yeah, so this is basically we need to reimagine. We need to reimagine what does learning look like in the future? How does it work that, you know, can I, uh, can I have certain flexibilities? Can I have certain uh, sort of environments that, that I want, that I like? So how we started to address this is to imagine what is an EDUCT 2.0 learning environment? So first, I think 
so this is a slight departure of how we've been doing things before. I think uh, so now we want to embark on new ways of doing partnerships. We want to bring in new sort of content. We want to uh, look at new sort of institutions. But it starts with a bit of identity because I think, you know, we wanted to rebrand Educity and say, look, Educity has got to change. The world has changed, and so do we. So Educity Iskanda, we've now, uh, uh, this is our new logo. Uh, we are much more aligned with our shareholders' uh, corporate identity, which is a triangle. If you see Iskanda Investment, which is 100% owner of Educity, uh, that is, you know, the triangle is very prominent. And what we hope is we turn the triangle such that it shows forward. That it shows we need to move forward and we want you to move forward with us. The second thing is we have to look at hardware. What do we need to change from a hardware perspective? And I, and I uh, use this term hardware a bit loosely. So first, we have our sports complex. It's a fabulous sports complex. If, if you haven't been there, please, please come and visit. And we said there has to be some enhancements. Some of the things that we did not do is we, we uh, did not create enough space within that. We all only focus on uh, the sports facilities, but there was a lot of demand of doing uh, F&B outlets. There's, uh, you know, people wanted a new sort of gym, etc. And we're very pleased to, to explore partnerships with uh, MSN, ISN, and other sporting bodies. You know, we welcome any institution, any sports-related in institution to be based at our sports complex because that's where the action is. So that's one change that we plan to do from a hardware perspective. This is sort of semi-hardware, semi-software. We have Educity Village, which has 640 beds uh, for students. And what having a centralized um, uh, student accommodation has achieved is that you get the mix of students from different institutions. And that's something that we try to emulate and we try to enhance a lot more. So what we did is for the first time in Malaysia, there is a uh, student representative council that is cross-institution within the same location. So the first ADCT student senate was actually elected, and I think we, be I believe we have the first president at where is she, Sarah? Where are you, Sarah? Yeah, there you are. Can you can you stand up and just wave at everybody? <laughs> so Sarah, Sarah's the president. Uh, Sarah's from NMIT, uh, so she's the president of the student senate that will oversee, you know, and coordinate all student activities across all the institutions that come in, and. Uh, you know, we, we have, uh, you can see on the screen, we have a pitch deal. So what we tell students, if you want to do any activities, you got to pitch for it. And we will never fund you 100%. We'll probably fund you half. Lah. So the other half, you can achieve this niri. So they, they, they hone their skills on how do you actually uh, attract funding, how do you raise funding, and uh, in order to do your activities. So thirdly, we built new hardware as well. So this is the latest building in Edicity. It's called the Edicity Hub. So it's completing the ecosystem. You have shared facilities of sports. You have student accommodation. We took the model of student union in the UK and said there should be a facility just for students, you know, and they should be able to use it 24 hours. So we're operationalizing this uh, facility right now. So in that facility, there are a couple of things, you know, on the top floor, we have fast space, which is a co-working space for students to start their businesses. We already have several students basing their businesses out of that co-working space. We also invite companies that want to tap on the, uh, you know, uh, on, on students where, where they think the, the students can support their business or, or can help them in research and development, etc., to be based in that co-working space and uh, you know, interact with the students there. So on level one, they have, um, you know, there's, uh, uh, we have training rooms, uh, seminar rooms, etc. It can turn into exam hall. Uh, also a student lounge for them to enjoy. We have a gaming corner with four 
high-speed uh, computers for them to do gaming. And we also have a jamming studio, uh, a music studio. And we hope, we hope, Sarah, for, for you guys to do your uh, Eddie City Radio. Uh, we, we've been applying for the license to do a radio station run by the students to be based uh, in the hub itself. And then we have partners like Maybank, uh, you know, setting up a, a kiosk, which is called a Maybank at Campus, as, and 7-Eleven. And, and of course, the biggest response we've ever gotten for, from students is when we open a 24-hour McDonald's. Summa happy gila, you know. And then, but it's not just students. We can see the whole public actually coming together. Uh, it's a, usually a long queue for your uh, drive-through. And, and uh, you know, we hope to also, we're in uh, discussions to open a 24-hour mama there, which is, you know, the Patlepa for not only staff but students uh, and other eateries as well to support this um, facility. So, so those are the three components. We have the, we have the sports facility, which we're enhancing. We have the living hub, which we are then creating a community. And we have a community hub where the students can actually, uh, you know, do their activities and mix together. So we can only achieve this if we have good partners. Because I've always believed that we have to do what we do best. And there are other things that other people can do best. So we're proud to announce that uh, we've partnered with GFM, uh, Group Facilities Management. We have a, a CEO here, Jeff. Uh, Jeff's been a great partner for us. So now GFM looks after the whole 300 acres of all our facilities. You know, we're, we're even working together to test out um, IoT implementations to make our uh, office a smart office. Um, and, and, you know, uh, they've been a really, really great help in, in looking at uh, cost cutting, in uh, 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 getting maintenance right to an optimal level. So, thank you, Jeff. Can we have a hand for Jeff? <laughs> well, for JFM, lah, but since you represent JFM. So, we also have uh, Maybank. So, Maybank is interesting because they have a program called Maybank at Campus, where they set up a booth uh, and they set up permanent staff to be based there so that you can open your accounts, you can do the normal banking transactions, but they also contribute by running financial literacy programs for the students. And we're looking at uh, uh, making that collaboration even deeper, where as we move towards a more cashless approach to the whole of Edicity. So that's Maybank. Uh, do we have a representative for Maybank today? Yes? Yes. Thank you very much, sir. Cik <laughs> Shah, yeah, thank you. So then third, we have sports work. So sports work is, uh, you know, has uh, advised us strategically and helping us with the operations of the sports complex. Sports, running a sports complex is not our expertise. They have been doing so. I think they ran the SEA Games in Malaysia. And they've been uh, we've, we've also asking their assistance in how can we bring more activities, sporting activities to our sports facility and how can we actually look at sports as an industry, uh, you know, to the extent that we're considering that one of the parallels, which we'll explain later, is sports technology. So, Justine, Justine, where are you? Yeah, Justine, thank you, sports work. So, new software, so we have, that's the hardware part. So we have the identity, we have the hardware, and now software. So software is really content. So, in that, we have new institutions that's coming in. So, we like to vary the types of institution. I think, uh, uh, you know, EDICT has done a great job in bringing excellent world-class institutions in, but at the same time, uh, I'm trained as an architect. If you study urban design, it, in order to create a city, you need all the constituents uh, to be complete. You need all types of uh, parts of the city to work well. So we'd like to announce some of the new institutions. So in January 2021, we have Idrisi School coming out. So you're, we have uh, Idrisi has a booth over there. I've known, uh, I've known Idrisi for quite a while. Masa dulu saya suka buka booth jual baju. Sebelah tengok Idrisi, siapa ni? And then we started talking and over, I don't know, 10 years, 12 years we've known each other. And now we actually can work together to bring education, you know, a different sort of education to Edu City. Because Edu City is the only accredited 
eco school, if I'm not mistaken, in Southeast Asia. Yeah. So, so they have a different approach, a holistic approach of educating students, where you know you get to uh, get your hands dirty, you get to understand how do you plant, uh, you know, vegetables, how do you rear chickens and kambing and so And so, as part of a holistic approach of you not only learning the theory and not only learning from an academic perspective, but including things like environment, including things like. You know how 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 do I think about myself and my uh, my identity as a citizen of this earth? So we welcome uh, Idrissi in. We hope to see you start in January, yeah. And we have uh, Reliance Aviation Academy. So we we're also uh, trying to open up Edicity more to training institutions because I think if you talk about the field of education, there's many many facets. You have the schools. You have the tertiary, you have the lifelong learning. So Reliance Aviation is our first training partner to come in in September 2020. Uh, we have uh, where they um, train licensed aircraft engineers, they train cabin crews, uh, so the focus is really aviation industry. Do we have representatives from, from Reliance today with us? Sorry, I'm trying to locate where you are. Okay, thank you very much, sir. So we, we welcome um, also uh, another training institution called LEA, I think they started life as London English Academy and now uh, they're known just as LEA, probably sexier lah, the name LEA aja kan? So uh, much easier to understand uh, or remember. So they are our partner to bring language courses and corporate training, uh, some corporate training too. So Gerald, I've known Gerald for years now, you know, welcome, welcome to Edu City. So if any institution require IELTS or, you know, uh, or uh, TOEFL, etc., they can also talk to Gerald. I think uh, LEA has a booth also to the side there. So we've also got two things in the pipeline, although we're, we can't quite announce it yet, but I think we're super, super excited that a traditional Chinese medicine university is looking to be based uh, in EduCity itself. I think this uh, enriches the offerings that Edusity has, uh, and and you know uh, it's it's a uh, TCM. I think is a much now is getting very uh, popular. Uh, people are going for various treatments, etc. Uh, and I think having a, a you know the reputable, excellent education institution which is based in TCM to be here will be a huge addition to Edusity. And the other one is we've also been talking, but this one I actually named them because we're in serious talks. Cyberlinks, where's Cyberlinks? <laughs> yeah, okay, we have our partners in Cyberlinks. So Cyberlinks International College, uh, I think there's this, this a new owner uh, on board and they are restructuring uh, the whole place and, and you know, they're doing great work, uh, which includes, uh, and I didn't know this, there was a, it's actually a diploma in football. You know, if I knew, why do I take architecture last time? Uh, you know, maybe I should have done football instead. Uh. So, there's a, they've got a diploma in golf. It's okay, I don't play golf, but whoever else, you know, uh, who, who aspired to get an education in golf, they have a, dip, a diploma in golf, which is PGA Australia accredited as well. So, we welcome Cyberlinks International College to Eddie City. Okay, so these are current partners, these are the new partners, and these are the future collaborations that we're having. But, uh, I mean, those are already, I think, a lot of things that already get us on the way to becoming a 2.0 Edusity. We're getting the right mix, uh, we're getting more uh, different sorts of uh, institutions coming in in Edusity, we're getting more population there, we're enhancing um, we're enhancing the offerings from the sports complex to the student village. We're, we're getting the students to have a bigger voice in saying what happens in Edusity. But I think maybe with this changing world, that's not enough. So, so we need a sort of game changer because I think you, know, you need some, some big move that moves the needle. Um, for us, in order for us to call it a 2.0. So the first thing is we're presenting to you the concept of institution as a platform or institution as a service. You all may have heard of software as a service, etc. Yeah? So you don't need to own the software, 
but you, you actually lease the software and use it, and, and when you don't want to use it, you don't. Uh, you can stop. So I think this is a method which Edicity wants to lower the barrier to entry for institutions to come in Edicity. So for, for example, a foreign institution that's not familiar with the Malaysian landscape and also not willing to you know, uh, make huge investments in capital expenditure, there's many, many ways for us to uh, for them to, to, to go into ICT without, uh, without those big investments. So we, we have a flexible partnership model which we offer to any education-related uh, uh, education institution. So one thing is uh, recently, I mean, this is what has come up from uh, uh, the COVID-19 situation. Many UK, US, Australian universities that want to uh, uh, recruit students, they can't because the students cannot travel. And students are not willing to do all their degree online. Yeah? As, as we said, there is screen fatigue, maybe it's not a, 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 a great learning environment uh, only to be studying at home. So we came out with this transit model. So we said, um, why don't uh, uh, universities, and this is uh, where our partners, uh, Sportswork and GBA, assisted us in, in some UK institutions and said, why don't you recruit the students, let them study online, but base them in Edicity. Let them stay in our student combination. Let them use our library. Let them use our sports facility. So you have the whole mentality of being in an education environment. So we have one uh, UK university that uh, we are starting to finalize the relationship on that model. So that's one model that's uh, possible. And we see a lot of universities in China, I think in Taiwan, in Hong Kong, uh, already starting to take the same thing because there's uncertainty of students in a local environment moving out. So we invite uh, you know, any institutions around the world who think that this is a viable model to come work with us. Second is the incubation model. So some institutions are saying, Look, I don't want to hire staff yet, but I have a good product. Uh, you know, but I don't want to apply for license yet and plonk uh, you know, X amount. So what we do is we have an incubation model where we incubate uh, the institution, and then once it hits a certain number of students, then they can set up an institution in full. You know, so they, we have some, uh, we have very. Uh, very uh, models to do this. So one UK institution, which is a premier UK institution that does A-levels, is looking at this incubation model. So third is twinning. I think we're all familiar with the twinning model. You know, you can have a college that offers an overseas degree, but we call it twinning plus. So we call it twinning plus because I think uh, we, we look after the student even outside the class as well. We offer support services to the student. We offer, again, the library, the sports facilities. Again, how can we uh, uh, license a program, start with you? But the whole intention that is that if once the number of students grow, you, will, you can actually take up the business yourself. So these are lower barrier to entry, easy entry for institutions to come into Edicity and test your business. So that's, that's a flexi uh, flexible partnership model. Second is we are offering ADHD as a research living lab. For example, we had an uh, e-scooter company uh, who piloted uh, um, their e-scooters in our environment, and then uh, because they want to take advantage of students going around the area whenever they're looking for food, etc. So we have an environment that anybody can come in and treat us as a research living lab. I know our partnership with uh, GFM, where we are doing the IoT, is also part of this research living lab. But we have three focus areas. So one is AR and VR. So that's something that we think is uh, definitely highly connected to education, highly relevant you know, also to business and training. So that's one focus area for us. You know, second is robotics and IoT. So uh, with JFM, we've already started with IoT. We've, uh, we are looking at um, other partners uh, with robotics. And third is sports technology. And this is where uh, you know, we have a collaboration with MSN and we're looking to collaborate with ISN on how can we do data analytics, how can we do 
to improve performance, not only of elite athletes, but I think uh, the, the, the general athlete that participates. And we have partners working with us too. I see Erhan at the back there. Erhan, so Erhan's our, our partner with data analytics. So we believe very much working with the, uh, the partnership model. And third, I think, I, you know, you have to dream big lah, sometimes. Because uh, I think I have found that there is no center for education discourse. You know, you have Davos for econ economics. And I think as an aspiration, Edu City would like to take on the aspiration of becoming the Davos of education. So we're starting this. Uh, we can't announce yet because we're still in discussion uh, with partners. We have an online uh, uh, partner based in the UK who, who runs webinars whose um, the, the, uh, the viewership is only vice chancellors uh, or directors of universities and, and colleges. And they have been running this uh, program for since the COVID-19 uh, started. Uh, and there's huge response and there's a lot of issues and becomes a platform of discourse and discussion. What do we do in education? What do we do about internationalization? What do we do on student mobility? Um, and that's one of the things that we're we hope to take on. So that's quite a lot. So an institution as a platform service, we see the th there's three models that we presented to you. So in order to implement those three models, we have three vehicles that we like to present to you. So the flagship partnership model is where we are opening LSD International College. So LSD International College is the platform for uh, all the three models we described. We also invite training companies who want their training content to be accredited under MQA so that you can actually use EPF, you can use scholarships, you can use EPF withdrawals, you can get PTPTN for your training modules and it can actually be uh, accredited and trans doing credit transfer to get a diploma program. Because we know most training companies, you offer your certificate, that's it. And you recognize or you don't recognize the certificate, it's up to you. But it doesn't, it doesn't constitute towards a bigger picture. So Edusty International College is a platform where you can do that. Where you can actually turn your existing content and you are the experts, the training companies are the experts, the companies are the experts, even, even companies which have their own internal training content, you know, there's a possibility for you to do this. So the second model of Research Living Lab is where we'd like to uh, announce that we are creating Educity Academy, so which will be focusing on Research Living Lab. I think we're submitting for quite a number of grants together with companies so that the R&D uh, part actually takes place in Educity. And third, the set Center for Education Discourse. So we're doing a series of activities which will start in 2021, which will culminate in the Future of Education Summit. So we hope to commence this summit either late 2021 or 2022, depending on how travel, et cetera, is allowed. Of course, we can start things online, but uh, you know, cumulatively, we'd like to actually have a gathering of people physically in Edu City in a safe environment as much as we can. So that's, in essence, Edu City 2.0. And we look forward to 2021, where you will see, you know, EDC 2.0 in full action. So to give you a glimpse of this, what's going to happen, EDC 2.0, we presented to you a little video. This is where it begins. A place where she can dive into her dreams against the current to reach her goal. It is a starting point of a journey to explore uncharted territories, to use new knowledge for the best of mankind, immersing in sustainable lifestyle, where you can feel the breeze on your skin. It's times like this that makes you feel alive. to create, a time to capture precious moments.
dreams are no longer just dreams. But the beginnings of a new reality. This is where I harness my potential. This is where I explore possibilities. This is where I expand my mind. This is where the story begins. Thank you very much. We, part, uh, we look forward to you coming and partnering with us and we look forward to you to see more of NEC in 2021. Thank you very much.